Good day, everyone. I'm not John Krasinski, and this is the Joint Base Langley Eustis Company Grade Officer Council, or JBLE CGOC, bringing you some good news, the military version, because nobody else in their right minds uses that many acronyms. If you're joining us today after Own Your Story, thank you so much for tuning in. I know those stories can be difficult to hear and even more difficult to share. So from us to you, we want to send our most heartfelt thank you to those who took time out of their day to bear a piece of their heart. We hope that you found the stories enlightening and hopeful in that no matter what you are going through, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you do not have to search for it alone. There are numerous resources, including our partners in Own Your Story, the Wounded Warrior Initiative, you can reach out to them no matter the time, place, or story. It is yours after all. Own it. We know those stories can be difficult to hear, so we'd like to brighten the mood a little bit with some good news. That brings us to our first correspondent. Marie? Social distancing doesn't mean being alone. It means staying in with the pack. Of course, toilet paper must be respected in this crucial time for those fresh off the roll, happy puppies who simply crave its soft plush tissue against their cold snoot. The TP must be rationed. Think of the unconcerned house cat as the master of Zen and acceptance. For the unawares animal, this quality time with you may never cross into their mind to worry, so take full advantage of the naturally nurturing aspects of your pet to calm you the ever-loving heck down. Let's make the most of this fortress of isolation and nap time on our domestic world. Thanks, Marie. I see some humans have zero problem letting toilet paper go to waste during a crisis. But hey, the pets are cute, so give them a pass. What the heck? Now we move to the heart of today's segment. Following a woman who overcame many obstacles to be able to serve in the United States Air Force and who continues serving during the corona pandemic, we'd like to introduce to you Nicole Matheson. My name is Nicole Matheson and today I will be sharing with everyone how did I enlist in the United States Air Force and how did I go from being an enlisted member to a commissioned officer. There were several challenges that came across in my life. The first one was my weight. The second one was the workload that I was facing once I was in the middle of the fight to commission. The third one um, was uh, I got a divorce right before I commissioned. And the fourth one was adjustment all together to a new place with a new name, with a new title. Um, my father, when I went back home from this one semester at Stanford, he recommended that I enlist so that I could save up money and I could also gain insight on what it's like to be enlisted so that that insight could help me as a leader. I learned a lot. I learned the meaning of work ethic. I learned to appreciate my enlisted core and for the technical experts that they are and how they take care of one another. I saw my father growing up doing his Air Force job. He was a navigator of C-141s. He served for 28 years. For me, what he did looked so fulfilling. And then I got to help out in the EOC with the Storm Area 51 event. For the first time, we got to plan for an event, um, which is unheard of. Usually we have to kind of um, adapt and prepare as things come towards us, kind of like COVID-19. I have made mistakes, but I have been able to recover from them, learn from them, and um, I do believe that they make me a better leader and they have humbled me a lot in the process. Stay resilient. This too shall pass. I truly appreciate you. If there's any way that I can help, please don't hesitate to reach out. I have more time now in light of everything that is going on. Take care and all prayers and blessings for everyone. To see the full video and learn more about how you can commission into the United States Air Force as well, 
please subscribe to her YouTube channel, Nicole Matheson, for this and more stories. And to close our segment, we'd like to give a special thank you to a very small and under-recognized career field in the Air Force, our biomedical laboratory specialists. It is one of the smallest career fields in the Air Force, yet they are responsible for keeping blood moving around the world, particularly to our deployed members and military hospitals currently battling coronavirus. I'd like to give a special shout out to Captain Jessica Bradley. Thank you so much for all that you do. Stay strong during this time and stay safe. If you are interested in donating blood or plasma, please visit militarydonor.com and schedule an appointment today. Don't worry, Jess. I'm scheduled for next week. This has been the military edition of Some Good News, brought to you by a ridiculously long acronym that I stated at the beginning of our segment. I'm still not John Krasinski. I hope that you all have a great day.